What's up everybody, Jeremy here from mtgheadquarters.com doing what I know you guys all love and that's cracking booster boxes. So I've changed my format. I've gone away from three part videos. I'm going to do them all in one video and I'm gonna open at least two booster boxes a month. Probably one from the current standard and then one old goodie. So I'm gonna start with this Theros booster box that I have here. It might be missing a pack but uh, it's still a booster box, you know. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't get ourselves some foil monies, foil facets, whatever. Whatever our little MTG hearts desire. <coughs> and hey, by the way, I miss you guys in the comment section down below. I miss talking with you. Comments ever since the stupid Google Plus integration, nobody's commenting. So I know nobody wants a Google Plus account, but just do it. I miss you guys. So we're gonna crack the pack. We're gonna go straight to the rare or foil. Bloop. Let's zoom in a uh, skosh. People like to kind of see me stroll through them. Phalanx Leader is a ridiculous draft card. And our first rare, of course, why wouldn't it be my all-time favorite card, a crow and horse. We have a foil satyr piper. It's been a while since I've opened some Theros, so I'm listening to you guys in the comments, even though I miss a lot of you. It's uh, been pretty disappointing, the Google Plus rollout. Uh, not as many people are finding the channel, and um, but uh, we'll get there. We'll get back. A rare Ember Swallower. Not much going on there. What's hot right now in Thero? Stormbath Dragon, right? Thought Seizes, Elspeth. A wide variety of fun things, but um, let's see. Commons and a rare is a Labyrinth Champion. I, uh, I know I'm throwing a lot of new style videos at you guys with the night off, and now I'm actually throwing some gameplay at you. Um, they're not my favorite type of video to shoot, but you guys like gameplay, or I'm told that you do. So I'm trying to accommodate. And a rare is a Steam Augury. Pretty uh, poopy rare so far. And I've actually got... Um, I may actually upload the giveaway before this, but I'm going to try to reignite things with a, a giveaway a little bit. Maybe another video contest. I liked that. That was my favorite. Freak is Mender, Nihilus Emissary, and a Hero's Downfall. Very nice. We have a Foil Wave Crash Titan. And uh, I actually built... Um, a standard deck tonight on MTGO, so I will be playing it for you guys in an upcoming FNM on Friday nights, which hopefully you guys are enjoying. And our rare is a Melodus Charlatan. So what's new in your guys' world? I'm, I'm jonesing to hear from you. And I know I have Twitter and Facebook and all that, but uh, I still prioritize YouTube comments over everything. Seder Piper, and a rare is a Pelucranos World Eater. Very cool, mythic rare. Very, 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 very cool. I don't have many of those. A couple maybe, so I'm happy to get them. And again, I'm listening to you guys, I'm putting it all in one video to make life easier on you. There'll be less of them, right? But at least you'll get the whole video or all the uh, packs in one video. Magma Jet, Fanatic of Mogus, and our rare is a Soldier of Pantheon. Do, do, do. The uh, standard deck I'm, I built is mono black, only because it's um, you know what I'm most familiar with playing. It's kind of like mono black aggro, I guess. 
Ooh, and a thought seize. Very cool. Very happy to have that. I, uh, I'm working on a trade binder video, which will be on my MTG HQ trades channel. I'm not going to link it because I, I mean, I wouldn't upload it on the main channel here because I mean, not all of you trade on YouTube, but, uh, Ooh, it looks like we have a foil Skyland. We have a gift of immortality as a rare. Oh, no, nope, just a foil swamp. Just a foil swamp, nothing more, nothing less. It's a foil swamp. It's MFing freezing in my basement right now. It's uh, about 10 degrees outside, and I came down here, I didn't realize how cold it was, but damn. Another foil back there. A rare is a prophet of Krufix. And our foil is a foil Triton Hunter. Okay. Very cool. I'm actually going to be giving away some sealed product, or I gave away some sealed product. I'm trying to incent people to get over on my Google Plus Play page and hit that follow button and comment. Got to use it, right? Google says I got to use it, so. I'm a bit of a rebel, but, uh, ooh, whip of Erebos. I'm a bit of a rebel when it comes to someone telling me I have to do something, which my immediate reaction then is to do the exact opposite. But uh, YouTube is how I communicate with you guys. It's how I get my fix too. So I don't really have a choice. Ty Merritt, the Ma Murder King. Pretty cool Rakdos card. Feels like that card should have been in Return to Ravnica. I don't know. Maybe not. So Theros, uh, Battle is Hoplite. Oh, and our rare is a Storm Breath Dragon. Very much looking for those. I don't have my playset yet, but I would. That might complete it. I'm not totally sure. I have not cracked as much Theros um, as, you know, previous sets, only because I've been doing a lot of MTGO stuff, and, um, oh, and our rare is a Dexos of Melitus. Oh, there's a, a Foreshadow, Foil Skyland. Very cool. Very cool. EDH players, anybody? EDH, EDH, going once, going twice. Very, very cool. A rare. Oh, Ashiok. Boy, we were on we've been on a nice little run here. Thoughtseize into Stormbreath into Foil Skyland into Ashiok. Very cool. You know, for as much as I draft, I almost never see that card. It's uh perplexing. I mean, yeah, I guess it's mythic. I shouldn't be perplexed by it, but Chain to the Rocks. Very good rare. There's our uncommon, sorry. Wow, another good one. Modern Playable. Are any of you guys playing uh, the Modern Masters uh, <coughs> ripoff, I mean drafts on MTGO? I did my first one today. Uh, I did not stream it out of fear of how poorly I would play. An Arbor Colossus. Big fatty, and another foil rare, Gift of Immortality. Interessant, there, interessant. So I've got some cool stuff coming up for you guys in 2014. I've got a box of Fifth Dawn. I've got a box of Fifth Edition. I've got a box of Homelands. And I think and our rare is a Nyx Nykthos. Very, oh wow, this has been an excellent middle section. I don't know, I think that card may have dropped. Maybe not. It's definitely the bomb diggity in Devotion decks, right? So, Devotion, EDH, it's, pr it's practically played in most formats, right? Very cool. We've got another foil hiding back there. A Fabled Hero. Probably the best card in... Theros Limited, care to care to debate me? I am a master debater. 
That card is crumbelievable. Oh, my feet are freezing. I'm going to have to turn the heat on down here. Warrior's Lesson and a Night Howler. I've seen this played in, what, Green Black Standard. The Self Mill deck? I thought I saw that yesterday on a stream. Moving right along, we are due a dry run here, but maybe not. Tormented Hero, Nylia's Emissary, favorite, favorite Hoplite, and a Hundred-Handed One promo card. The uh, card I relied on desperately in the uh, Theros pre-release. I gotta say, I'm kinda, I mean, I really like Theros, to be honest with you, um, but I'm done with it. I'm ready for Born of the Gods, and it's still two months away. So that's kind of unfortunate. Ooh, a Sylvan Keratin, another solid rare. Theros, this set might have some, uh, this might be, I mean, you'd have to talk to Zemet probably about this, or uh, MTG Lion, or uh, like MTG Skill or other speculators, but this might be a set worth stock stocking up on. I'm not totally sure yet, but Meltis Charlatan, there's a lot of cards in here that seem like they're going to be at least around for modern. Uh, I'm not sure. I went out and stocked up on Return to Ravnica based on that. It'll be my first sealed speculation. Trying to get up to about 50 booster boxes of that. Insatiable Harpy. And a Psychic Intrusion. I'm trying to... Uh, because this habit, right, this channel is so expensive. Um, we've been fortunate with a few sponsor boxes here and there, and that's been great. But uh, my sealed collection has dwindled down to just five boxes. And I don't plan on slowing down at all. Battle always Hoplite, Evangel of Heliod, and a Swan Song. I hate opening that card in Limited. Um... So I gotta find a way to self-finance, right? Ad revenue is nothing, it's pit peanuts. So if you're thinking that, trust me. It's not paying for much. So hopefully speculation will do it for me. And then another Soldier of Pantheon. And these cards will be going directly into my trade binder. And uh, I'll try to get that done May already be up by the time you're watching this, but I can trade up to some shock lands and stuff that I need. Dissolve. Dawn's Onslaught, very good for heroic decks. And a Temple of Triumph. I was kind of wondering where all of our scry lands. Oh, and a third foil rare. Too bad all the foil rares are poopy. Because, <laughs> you know, I like to complain. But this is an excellent box. The Heroes Downfall, Storm Breath Dragon. Uh, Ashia, a couple soldier pantheons, Nykthos. All we need is a Thassa to top it off here. Oh, Erebos. I was feeling godly, though. Very cool. Erebos, god of the dead. He will be in my uh, mono black deck. I was just thinking to myself, like, man, I haven't pulled any gods yet. I mean, not that, you know, I expect them, but Sentry of the, oh, under, Uncommon, it's Fire Drinker Seder. I'm not a fan of that card in Limited. Oh, and we got a Seder token. Maybe that's a foreshadow that we've got a Xenagos hiding in here still. Wouldn't that be something? Another foil card in here. Wow, the foils are oh plenty. Wait. A minute. Daxos, it's my most common rare. I thought for a second that might be a foil, uh... Ugh, what the... How am I not thinking of a brain fart on her name? Elspeth. Because, you know, I'm trained to just expect every insane pull to always happen. To always pair out. Magma Jets. Lots of staples here. Rage Blood Shaman. 
Uh, you can draft that if you kind of get it real early and you kind of get a lot of uh, Minotaurs, but in, in uh, most cases it's a dud rare to open and draft. Lots of Phalanx leaders though, those are great. These are great, this is a great combo right here. Oh, and a Miscutter Hydra. Oh, man, alive. Okay, well, this box has been great. This is the last pack, and I will go over the rares, but I want to take this moment to say I miss you guys. I really want to talk with you in the comment section down below, so figure out a way to, you know, sign up for that stupid Google Plus account, and um, if you're new to the channel, make sure you uh, subscribe, because I'm doing three to four videos a week. Uh, I've increased my variety. I've got all sorts of new series is coming out. Gameplay, openings, and more. Our final rare is a pro Prognostic Sphinx, absolute bomb and limited. And we have a Flame Speaker Adept, which is actually really good and limited too. Um, if you get it early enough and you can build around it. Let's uh, double back over our rares for all of you that just skipped to the ending. We will go over them. All right, Temple of Triumph. Soldier of Pantheon, Swan Song, Psychic Intrusion, Melodus Charlatan, Sylvan Curated, Hundred Handed One, Daxos of Melitus, Melitus Charlatan, this is ah, Night Howler, Fabled Hero, Nykthos, Shrine to Nyx, Foil Gift of Immortality, Arbor Colossus, Chain to the Rocks, Ashiok, Prognostic Sphinx, Miscutter Hydra, Rageblood Shaman, Erebos, God of the Dead, Foil Temple of Silence, da another Daxos, Stormbreath Dragon, very happy about that. I think that's like a $15 card. Tyrant, Whip of Erebos, Prophet of Crufix, Gift of Immortality, Thoughtseize, very cool. Another Soldier, Fire Drinker Seder, a Pelucranos, Melitus Charlatan, Hero's Downfall, Steam Augury, Labyrinth Champion, Ember Swallower, and a Crone Horse. So for a box that started out pretty slow, it finished super strong. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you have a second, make sure you crush that thumbs up button, maybe tell a friend about it. Really love to uh, push hard to uh, sneak over that 40,000 subscriber mark by the end of the year, and I know we can do it as much as Google Plus tries to make it hard for us. So I really, really hope you guys had fun, and I'll talk to you again real soon. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Check out some of our most popular playlists, everything from MTG vlogs, gameplay video, new product breaks, and some insane vintage openings. And if you haven't yet, here's your opportunity to crush that subscribe button to join the fastest growing Magic the Gathering channel on YouTube. Thanks again, and we'll see you real soon.